Hi there, this is Redelete Ramblings for November 2021 with me, Maria Franklin, domestic thriller author. It's great to have you here. Thank you for joining me. And I'm going to open this uh, video with a very short patted passage from my uh, latest uh, domestic thriller, which is called Last Christmas. Just in time for the Christmas period, but I can assure you it's not very festive, uh, as you might expect from the, uh, the rest of my my books okay so let me read you this uh, short passage i open my eyes the soft snoring of my sister vibrates through the sofa as reality hits me like a sledgehammer i sit bolt upright and look at the window the helicopter light has disappeared and the lighthouse beam has resumed its sole ownership of the darkness i feel as heavy as a helicopter it's 20 to 5, still around three hours until daylight. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I stiffen as a door clicks shut, followed by footsteps padding along the hallway. I'm certain I can hear someone breathing outside the lounge door. Then, with a creak and a dragging of the carpet pile, it opens. That's just a little tiny extract from my latest book, Last Christmas. And as you can see from the cover, it's not the most jolliest of uh, pictures there. Um, so this has been uh, designed by Darren Holmes, again, my usual uh, cover illustrator, who always manages to capture the, uh, the ideas I have in my head from a simple cover brief. He really is uh, wonderful at what he does. So Christmas novels are supposed to be happy, right? So that I mean, they're supposed to be given as Christmas gifts full of uh, joy. Um, and in view of the fact that Amazon have now made um, hardback books available and I've got most of my books now produced as, as uh, hardbacks, I thought how much I would love for one of my books to be given uh, as a Christmas gift. So at the time when the ideas were coming, that was my starting point, this desire to, uh, to write a Christmas novel. But Obviously, given my uh, writing of uh, domestic thrillers, it was uh, never going to be a, a festive uh, novel. So I decided to give some thought to what might constitute the worst Christmas imaginable. So I began with an unhappy couple who were having fertility problems, one of whom is an alcoholic. Um, I then decided to throw in the uh, the in-laws from hell, uh, put them into the mix along with the uh, terminal illness and uh, then an unexplained death. So like I said, far from festive, but definitely the most enjoyable book that I've written uh, so far as it, from a writer's point of view. I, I just loved writing this one. Um, and I think the page turning quality of this novel comes from the fact that you'll care about the, the viewpoint characters. So the novel's actually split into three uh, with the characters uh, taking on the story from where the previous uh, character has left off. So this is a story that really pushes family dynamics to the edge and it shows you the damage that a, um, a dysfunctional family can cause to a person. So as with all my writing, uh, this is a book that shines uh, a light into the darkest corners and no, no member of this family is going to be able to hide from you. So there's one or two uh, curve balls, as you might expect, thrown at you as you read. Uh, it always amuses me actually when a reader says, ah, I knew that was going to happen, or that was really predictable, you know, in these uh, reviews. <laughs> so I'm the author and even I don't know what's going to happen as I'm, I'm writing it. And this is the most exciting thing about being an author in that I'm as surprised as, as you are when, uh, uh, during uh, the writing process. So that's the, the most exciting thing, but then obviously being in contact with you, my reader, comes a very close second. Okay, so this is uh, it's my seventh uh, domestic novel, yes. Yes, it is my seventh. Uh, I'm certainly not at short of ideas for seven more. You'll be pleased to know I've got the, all them scheduled on my on my boards behind me. Uh, and as long as the ideas keep coming, uh, so will the books. 
Um, so as an author of domestic thrillers, I'd be lost without my partner in crime at Google. And without giving too much away, here's some examples of my searches. So how soon after death is an autopsy done? Is it possible to tell the difference between a fall or a push on a person's body? How long could someone last outside in sub-zero temperatures? Does an inquest take place in the same place that death occurred? When falling from height, does a person's heart give out before they hit the bottom? So there were many more, uh, but there's probably enough, hopefully, to whet your appetite there. And if I haven't got you rushing to go and get your hands on a copy of Last Christmas, then uh, let me read the, the prologue uh, to you. It's something of an honour to visit a person when they're at the end of their life. When you know you're one of the last people they'll sense at their bedside particularly when they're slipping in and out of consciousness. You've been told they can hear you, but can they? Really? You know you can tell them anything you want and it will never be repeated. How many people can you say that about? A Catholic priest at confession? A GP? A counsellor? But even those professionals will warn you that they might have to break their code of confidentiality should you pose a risk to life, your own or someone else's. But someone on their deathbed? You're safe with them. They can't tell anyone anything. So uh, that's the prologue. And if you want to get your hands on a, a copy of Last Christmas, uh, it's out on Amazon, hardback, paperback, ebook, Kindle Unlimited. And it's been recorded on audio as we speak by a wonderful uh, narrator over in the US, uh, South Louisiana. Uh, called Shana. Uh, so that's that's in progress for the audi audible uh, people out there. Uh, I am also giving away a Christmas themed uh, goodie bag. Let me hold it up. So there you go. So yes, in, in here there's a, there's a signed copy, there's a paperback, there's some Christmas socks, there's a candle, there's chocolates, there's a limited edition mug. So lots of uh, reader related uh, uh, goodies. There's a lovely scented candle in there as well. So if you want to read your book by uh, uh, candlelight or on, on a night. So, yes, so uh, to enter that, um, I'm going to post a link below the video. So you'd need to copy and paste that into your browser. Alternatively, uh, drop me a line to maria at mariafranklin.co.uk and I will add you in. Um, but it's probably best if you go via the link and then you're straight uh, into the draw. So I'm going to do that on the 19th of, uh, of November. So you've uh, a few days to get yourself in for that if you want to uh, okay so that's that's the draw now where am I okay so that's that's last Christmas I'll uh, leave that to uh, one side uh, for now oh actually no just before I go just before I leave that just let me read you uh, one of the reviews that's just come in uh, I'm so proud of this one Maria Franklin has done it again taken a perfectly normal family situation and turned it into an unputdownable page turner. We all have experience of dysfunctional families, but this one really takes the cake. How she manages to weave all the threads together without them getting bogged down is a miracle, but she really pulls it off. Another resounding success for the queen of the darkly disturbing. How is that for a accolade? I'm just absolutely thrilled to bits with that. Okay, so let me tell you what I'm reading at the moment. A domestic thriller. Uh, the House Made by Sarah A. Denzel. And I've been drawn to this writer's work because she also sets her book in uh, Yorkshire, uh, her books in Yorkshire, and she's a, a fellow domestic thriller author as well. Uh, so the domestic scene which she's uh, depicted in this book is a stately home. So 
Uh, mine are usually in houses, so this is a completely uh, different situation. So a destitute girl has found work um, there while she's also trying to uncover some secrets from her past. So I'm really drawn in. I'm only halfway through, but it's a good book, so I recommend that, The Housemaid. Um, what I'm writing, well, I'm at the planning stages for my august 2022 release you'll know that i release in february may august and november um so so far i've got the title which is frenemy uh and i'm in the process of just getting to know the uh, the characters so within the next week i'm going to be actually starting to write so very excited about that and then what I'm editing at the moment is Drowned Voices. Uh, so this is the sequel to The Yorkshire Dipper. Uh, it's now at the final proofreading stage before my advanced reader team get their hands and eyes on it. And, and Drowned Voices would never have existed without uh, you, my readers, uh, all saying, this. Ne uh, the, after reading The Yorkshire Dipper, everyone was saying, this needs a sequel. So here it comes. And I, as the proclaimed writer, of standalone novels have really surprised myself because not only have I written this sequel to The Yorkshire Dipper, there's also going to be a third part to this. It's going to become a trilogy uh, with Emergence forming the third part, the third book. Uh, so I'm going to be starting work on that in the, uh, the new year, hopefully. Um, so thank you for being here uh great to have you uh along um so this um video is also available as a blog post over on my uh website uh which is www.mariafranklin.co.uk if you haven't already you can download a free copy of the brother-in-law from my website as well uh, and join my uh, keep in touch list oh um and speaking of uh, all things video um, I've recently joined uh, TikTok as an author as well. So if you're on TikTok and you want to follow me, look for, what's my handle now? At Maria Franklin Author. <laughs> Very easy, it just wouldn't come to me for a moment. Maria Franklin Author. So look for me, follow me and I'll, uh, I'll follow you straight back. Okay, so don't forget to uh, rush out and get your hands on last Christmas. I can't wait to hear what you think. I'm really grateful if you do read it, if you'd leave me a review on uh, Amazon. I'm really excited to share this with you. Uh, like I say, not very festive, but hopefully you'll love it. Uh, and I'll see you next month for our final readerly ramblings of 2021. Bye for now.